1989, I was an athlete and I was not very well, so I took the summer off and uh, went to work on Camp America. Ended up on a weight loss camp for children and really got fascinated by the subject. My name's Paul Gately and I'm a professor of exercise and obesity. What we know is that if we eat too much and exercise too little, we will gain weight. It is as simple as that. The problem is though, what influences those two behaviours is incredibly complicated. We make thousands and thousands of decisions every single day. And it's in those thousands of decisions that we make every day that influence those two behaviours. And the narrative about um, people living with obesity is that they made choices that influenced their weight. And that is true to a degree. You walk down the high street and it's right running a gauntlet of food outlets and takeaways. So wherever anybody goes, there is food is available. Wherever we go, we're reducing those activities. What's also important in my work is, is then the sort of emotional, social and psychological health if you like, of people. Because for some people, they're able to run that sort of sweet gauntlet at a checkout and it has no influence on them. But if you're having a bad day and you're sort of feeling a bit overwhelmed or there's a number of factors going on in your life that you can't really handle, it may well be that that sort of emotional reaction is to grab some chocolate. And so it's all about that emotional state that then enables or disenables our ability to respond to this sort of what we term now an obesogenic environment. The most important thing for people to appreciate through my research is that we can do something about obesity, but we really need collective action to get there and we really need to shift this sort of very negative mindset about individuals making choices to be unhealthy. The problem is though, is for that child or that adult that's suffering with a weight problem, they often feel judged by that sort of reaction. Oh, they've eaten too much or they're too lazy. And that's the sort of common perception we have. And so I feel very passionate that we need to improve the understanding of this issue such that we actually empower people and engage them rather than put them down and put them off. And the work that we're trying to do around working with individuals and working on a societal level should begin to shift that environment so that people can feel happier, whatever their weight, even if they're suffering with weight problems, but they feel happier. That for me is a really positive outcome. And if that is my contribution, then that will be a great contribution to make. Academics at our university listen, inspire, challenge and innovate. They transform the way our students think and view the world. See how our academics and their research is making a real difference.